Hi guys, Mike back again with the third and final video in relation to my Gloomhaven storage solution. Now there are a few, as you know, as you've watched the previous 20 minutes worth of videos <laughs> over my last two, that you'll, you'll uh, know that there's a few manufacturers of laser cut um, storage for Gloomhaven. And I've decided to go with a company called Warbox. And this is the game organiser <clears throat> for Gloomhaven by Warbox. And basically, it's all it's all built, it's all punched, it's all put away. And what we're going to do is fill the box back up, basically, of Gloomhaven goodness. It does go back in a specific order, so we'll do it. So first off, we've got all of our characters. Character boards, character cards, specific tokens, all live in their individual boxes. So when you play a character, you take all the stuff out of this box, basically. There are several locked characters denoted by the seal and you can only unlock certain characters at certain points in the game or when you need to retire characters so it's a really cool mechanic then we've got um, this little box here with our dials which denote our um, hit points and our um, experience and we've also got the stands for the monsters so that goes in there then we've got uh, our um, our tray for our larger cards, so plenty of room for expansion. There are large cards in here for our um, for our heroes, so there's there's room for expansion, and these dividers are not glued in. So I wouldn't glue them in. I wouldn't suggest you glue them in because you can um, then arrange the cards how you choose to. So that goes in there. Then we've got um, miniatures. Each one of these has got a symbol on, each one of these has got a symbol on, and they correspond, and the miniature lives in this box denoted to your character, so you can pull the right miniature out, so they go in there. Then we've got... Um, what have we got next? Oh, then we've got our monsters. So each um, slot denotes a, a monster, or a class of monster. Uh, again, laser etched on the side. We've got our activation cards and our... Um, our stands, our um, standees to represent our monsters. And that goes down the side there. Lots of monsters in the game. And there's a second tray of monsters and cards. So again, easy access, easy to get, easy to pull things out of uh, the little slots when you need a certain monster. So that goes in there. Got this little tray here, just with some overlays, traps, whatever it might be. Each um, slot accommodates one type of, uh, of token, so I like that. I, I'm not like not doubling up on spaces, particular tokens. So that goes there. Then we've got our monsters, this uh, skinny box here, with all of the stats for our uh, enemies, monsters, whatever it might be, and the little envelopes that they slide into, and then you can, uh, uh, depending on what level they are, and that goes there. Then we've got our uh, deck modifier. So these cards will modify what we can do. So I've made uh, four decks made up, and then we've got the, uh, the additional cards here, and then obviously room for expansion because we've got our dividers there too. And that slots down there. So it's all going together very, very nicely. It's just, it's just so cool, it just all fits. We're getting there. Then we've got this box here, again, some overlays for the map tiles, which has got a lid, which is nice, but that just slots there. Then we've got more monsters, so just a little half box of monsters, just to finish them off. Again, laser etched on the side, um, standees and cards in, in the right slots. That goes there. Then we've got all of our small cards, items, um, what else have we got? <clears throat> Yeah, items. I've got items from the uh, solo scenario set. And there's some personal quests, I think. Or are they on the large cards? I'm not sure. I've not started playing the game yet, so and I don't want to show you cards in case there's any kind of spoiler type thing. But uh, all the small cards go there. Again, dividers, so you can divide them up however you choose to. That's that. Then we've got more miniatures. So these are the rest of the miniatures in their boxes. This slot, I think, was for the, um, the standees. The first printing of the game had 
standees instead of miniatures and you could put the standees in there but I didn't get the uh, standees because I've got a second printing of the game so that's an extra slot for whatever it might be then we've got uh, just a four slot box here for our money and other tokens for tracking stuff so that goes there and again more map overlay stuff some counters didn't seem to need this uh, this was an extra um, slot here to file stuff away but it all seemed to fit and each again each slot has got its own thing in there so I'll keep that maybe I've done something you know, wrong or whatever but uh, that's fine but that just fits in there last but not least then we've just got our two flat trays left again with some map overlay tiles which go like this and then last but not least wounds various markers each marker has got its own slot again, which I like, and that goes on top there. So that's basically it stored away. Then we've got a board, which again, I like this little design. It butts up against here so it doesn't move about in the box, which is pretty cool. Then basically I'm just gonna put everything on top. Uh, and again, there might be a better way to store this, but this is just how I'm doing it at the minute. So we've got various stickers, sticker sheets, um, to track our progress, so I'm just going to put those on top. We've got our um, decoder thing, our party sheet, sealed book of town records, which we'll look at when we're supposed to, the various envelopes in the game, which we won't look at, and they're unopened as yet. And I think I'm going to put the rule book and the solo scenario rule book um, here, just to sort of keep it flat. Then we've got our top tray with all of our um, map tiles in there. And again, I think I went for the war box because this was one of the few ones that had a top tray for your map tiles. Uh, the, the other ones I don't think have. I think the other ones you're kind of left with this and then you've just put your map tiles on top, which is fine. Um, but I like the tray, so all the map tiles go in there, and then this little <laughs> little bit of wood tells you where all the map ties go in this um, in here. So that, again, I don't know if it's optimal, but there we go. We'll uh, we'll we'll have a play as we go. And then last but not least, we've got a huge scenario book, and again, just trying to find an optimal way to to get everything in. So the box is pretty, the box lid sits fairly flush. Um, although it does say on the website that you are going to have some sort of raising by about a centimetre, or well, between half a centimetre and a centimetre, depending. So, and that's it. So we will go table down just to look at the gappage or the um, the height of the box that this room been raised up by. So you can see there, not much to be fair. And I'm pretty pleased with that. And I'm not entirely sure if I've packed away those tiles um, optimally but there we go so that is the war box game organizer for Gloomhaven I'm really pleased with it it's uh, it, it really satisfied it's my need for storage um, like I say I mean it, it, it was expensive yeah, 55 euros that's that's not cheap um, but I think for the convenience for the time I knows it for the time I know it would take me to build a, a foam core solution uh, and the cost of materials, and my time, and all of that sort of stuff. I, I'm really pleased with this. Actually, I'm you know this is a wonderful game. I mean, I've not played a single game of it yet, but it's just such a. Um, it's going to be one of those games I think that'll that'll, uh, that'll you'll be talking about in in years and years and years to come. It's there's, there's nothing like it uh, out there, and I think investing in it is is really nice. And it's like. Yeah, I think it's well, it is the biggest box in my collection. I've got some large boxes of games, but I think, you know, general content-wise, absolutely. There is so much in here, so much content, so much to discover. And I think investing in it, uh, for me at least anyway, is, is well worth the price. Um, I would highly recommend, I mean, you've seen it. I, I mean, I would recommend the War Box. Um, again, your mileage may vary. You might like uh, a different manufacturer's way of doing things or storing things, but... I really like the way this goes together. I like how it all stacks up. I like how each individual component has got its own place, uh, which is not the case with some of the others. Um, so yeah, 
that's the war box for Gloomhaven. Let me know what you think. Half an hour's worth of video on this. <laughs> so let me know what you think. I'll be, uh, I'll be interested. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.